You spotted the wolves well. Middle-aged, strong, aggressive fighters most likely. Oh, these are the perfect fangs. They're sparkly, they're white. They can cut through meat. The first of its kind dental weapon for the toothless elderly among us. Those who have the punch, but lack the bite. One chomp from these pearly beauties will make an attacker regret the choices. Brilliant, no? You have a duty. If the king is here, why aren't you by his side? I don't belong there. How can you say that? Your oath is your bond. What could be more important? My oath was to the king, not a monster. Damn it, Gawain is lost, Jay. A soulless husk. I will not serve such a thing. Lost? But Minister Lochnir says he's been preparing. Lochnir has joined his king in darkness, and so have the other knights. How? How did this come to pass? Are you happy now? If you've been to Tirnan Keep, I'm assuming you know the truth. Sir Gawain is lost, and he and Lochnir intend to rule a lost kingdom. Thank you. I suppose. Though I have no further need of it. My days as a knight are done. I fought honorably to protect Artorias and his legacy for several lifetimes. But I will not follow the heir down this path. Nor will I stand against him. Bridewin is Sir Gawain's right by blood. And though I've forsworn my duty to the bloodline, I will not oppose him, even if he is lost. There are some benefits to being new to the island, aren't there? Maybe fate has ordained you to be the one to shorten this part. If you fought your way into Tirnan Keep and returned with your soul intact, you are valiant, at least. If Jay wishes to fight, she's fortunate to have you. That's... It's not what I'm going to do. I cannot. I cannot fight in this battle. I... I bury my arms and knight's armor. My fighting days are done. Thank you for understanding. And for your support of the Knight Regent. You should go to her now. I wish... I hope you both find your way forward. So you've been to Ten on Keep and saw the horrors Persilla described? I can't imagine. Gawain, Lochnir. This is worse than even my darkest fears. Yes. As Knight Regent, it is my duty to defend the kingdom against all threats. Lochnir may believe the kingdom is the bloodline, but I know it to be the people. 
And I will fight for the people of Pridewen until the last shred of my soul is forfeit. You have no such duty, but I welcome the support if you will fight at my side. First priority is ensuring Pridewen is prepared to defend itself against whatever threats emerge. Second, we must look south. Oh, what have I done? I just realized I sent Grace to scout the southern shore with no idea what she's walking into. You must go after her with great haste, as she walks right into a trap. Thank you. I will return to Pridewen. As regent, that's where I belong, whether the city stands or falls. I will rally whatever knights remain to our defenses. She'll have to make her own choices. I must collect myself before I head north. I'll say our farewells. You should leave now. Find Grace and ensure she's safe. If possible, get a sense of what we're up against and then return to Pridewen and we will make our stand. Godspeed, my friend.
Wedding rings and the love letters. Uh, hmm. So some of the lost used to be married once? That makes no sense. And you're saying that even getting married doesn't keep you from turning into one of these creatures. How disturbing. A talisman to ward off evil spirits. What a clever idea. Why don't you use the wedding rings? Maybe they'll influence Nabi, and she'll want to get married sooner. A talisman? To protect me from evil and lower my chances of turning into a ghost? Does this mean my mother no longer believes marrying is protection against turning into the lost? And my mother will always want that. If she ever turned into a lost, which I hope she never does, she'd follow me around with the sole purpose of getting me married. And probably scare all my suitors away.
about time I got some reinforcements down here. Remember that lost pirate down in the north? That's a small affair compared to this place. Our good friend Minister Lochnir was here too. Those Egypts who followed him are all lost now and under his command. What about you? Learned anything new? What? Ah, you're joking me! This true heir everyone's so excited about is actually a soulless ghoul! Ah, I guess now the Minister's plan makes sense. That bastard Lochnir is planning to turn all of Monarch's bluffs to lost. I guess though the scariest part is how close he is to succeeding. They're clearly making preparations here to launch an attack on Pridewin. Hordes of lost, stockpiles of explosives. I'd say they're about to make their move. Well, we've discussed this partnership before, haven't we? I get the lay of the land and you do the battling part. You'll be facing long odds, but you're like a lucky anchor. I'd consider making a wager on you, regardless. Not a problem. I'll always tell it to you straight. I'd suggest you destroy as many explosives as you can and take out that glowing altar too. Now, what would you have me do? Now there's an order I don't mind following. I could use a cup of mead after all this crawling around. I'll go and tell the night region what's what, but my hopes go with you. It's better if these bastards never set sail. What folly we have committed! We unleashed the most tragic magic by giving in to Fatima's whims. We made a talking mirror that berates me for my decisions every minute, every hour, every day. It just doesn't stop. I had to. Her words are still pounding in my head. I broke her heart. And now I've broken her mirror. Maybe that's why she won't stop haunting me. See, si, I do. Fatima was the joy of my soul once. I left Spain, left my family because of my love for her. I love my querida even when we fought, even when her cloudy gray eyes turned into a storm. Mm, you are right. She speaks through another large mirror in the cove that's filled with pirates. I'll need your help to break it, but I must get her taunts out of my head.
Thank <laughs> you. 